Hi there. Welcome to this to video tutorial on a filtering operator in RxJS. RxJS library is a library for reactive programming that allows you to create, manipulate, and process stream of data. Filtering operators are a critical part of uh, RxJS, uh, allowing you to pick and choose the value from a stream that meets certain criteria. In this tutorial, we will cover some of the most commonly used filtering operators, including filter, take, first, last, and skip. You will learn how to use each of these operator to selectively uh, choose the values uh, you want to process in your application. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a, a solid understanding of how filtering operators work and how you can use them to simplify and streamline your data processing pipelines. So let's dive in and start exploring the exciting world of uh, filtering operators in RxJS. Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are going to take a closer look at uh, two powerful RxJS operator, Audit and Audit Time. Mm, RxJS is a popular library for reactive programming in JavaScript and uh, it provides a wide range of operators for handling streams of uh, events and uh, data. These operators are functions that uh, operate on an observable and uh, pre produce a new new observable. First, let, let's talk about the audit operator. The audit operator is used um, to listen to events from a source observable for a specified duration and emit the most recent event from the that period. This is useful for a situation where you want to take a sample of events from a stream at regular intervals. Here is a, an example of uh, how you could use the audit operator. Uh, in this example uh, we are using the from event operator to create an observable click that uh, emits events uh, every time the user clicks on the document. Uh, then we are using the audit operator to listen to the events from a click and emit the most recent event every second. The audited observable is then subscribed to and it is a value or logged to the console. Next, let's talk about the audit time operator. The audit time operator is similar to the audit operator, but it emits the most recent event from a stream after a specified duration uh, has passed. This is useful for a situation where you want to take a sample uh, of uh, events from a stream after the certain amount of a time has passed. Here is an example how you could uh, use the uh, audit time operator. In this example we are using the from event operator to create an observable click that uh, emits events uh, every time the user clicks on the document. Then we are using the audit time operator to listen to the events from a click and uh, emit the most recent events every second. The audited observable is then subscribed to 
and uh, it is where you are logged to the console. Uh, <coughs> in conclusion, the audit and audit time operators are powerful tools for managing stream of uh, events and data in receive uh, and data in reactive programming by taking irregular samples of events from by taking regular samples of events from a stream they provide a convenient way to keep your reactive system up to date and responsive hello and welcome to this video tutorial on ArcGIS operators in this tutorial we will be discussing two important operators the bounce and the bounce time uh, these operators are used uh, to control the rate at which events are emitted in your RxJ streams. Let's start with the debounce operator. The debounce operator is used to discard emitted values that are rapidly followed by another emissions. It's hold on to the most recent emission and only emits it uh, after a certain amount of time has passed without a new emission. Here, an here is an example of uh, the bounce operator in action. In this example, we use a uh, from event operator to create a stream of events from the input field. And then we use uh, the bounce operator to emit uh, the event only if there is uh, no new emission for thousand milliseconds. The debounce uh, operator is passed a function that returns an observable that emits a value after a specified amount of time. In this case, it returns a timer. It returns a timer. Um, in this case, it returns a timer. Uh, observable that emits a value after a thousand milliseconds. In this way, the stream will only emit the most recent value and discard any values emitted within a specified time interval. Let's open HTML. If you want to co copy this code, you can write from here. The bounce time. The debounce time operator is uh, similar to the debounce operator, but it is a simpler version that doesn't have the ability to hold on to the most recent emission. Instead, it simple discard all emissions except uh, the last one that occurred within a specifi specified time interval. Here is an example of uh, the bounce time operator in action. In this example, uh, we use a from event operator to create a stream uh, of events from the input field. Then we use uh, the bounce time operator to emit the, the event only if there is no new emission for thousand milliseconds the debounce time operator takes a single argument the time in the millisecond to wait before emitting the most recent value this way the stream will only emit the most recent value and discard any values emitted within specified time interval Okay. Uh, here we here is uh, same HTML for this code, and that's it. Uh, we hope 
uh, you found this uh, video tutorial on the debounce and the debounce time operators helpful. Uh, these operators are essential for controlling the rate at which events are emitted in your LXJS stream streams and can help you build more efficient and responsive application. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on ERIC.js operators where I will be discussing two important operators distinct and distinct until changed. First let's discuss the distinct operator. It's used to filter out any duplicates in a stream of a data emitted from an observable. Here, here is an example for distinct. Mm, in this example we created an array of data and used uh, the form from operator to convert it into an uh, observable. Then we use it, the distinct operator in the pipe uh, method to filter out any duplicates in the data. The output shows uh, only the unique values. In the console you can see the result. Next, uh, let's talk about the distinct distinct al until changed operator it is similar to the distinct op distinct operator but uh, it only filters out the duplicates if the next value in a str in the stream is a different from the previous value here is the example you can see the result uh, in a console window in in the example we created another array of data and used the distinct until changed operator to filter out the duplicates but this time only consecutive duplicates are filtered out resulting in a stream of unique values with uh, consecutive duplicates and that's it for this video tutorial on RxJS operator distinct and uh, distinct until change it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. In this tutorial, we will cover the RxJS operator distinct until key change it. This operator is used to emit unique values based on a specific k. Let's consider an example where we have a stream of objects representing users and we want to emit only the unique users based on their ID. To achieve this, we can use a distinct until key change operator as follows. Here is an example, and as you can see, the distinct until key changed operator is emitting only unique user based on the ID key. <coughs> In conclusion, um, <coughs> the distinct until key changed operator is a powerful operator that helps in emitting only unique values based on a specific key. Hello everyone and welcome back to our RxJS tutorial series. Today we are going to learn about the element add operator. The element add operator allows us to get the ends item emitted by an observable sequence. Let's take a, an example of getting the third element 
emitted by an observable sequence of numbers. In this example, we, are, we use a form operator to create an observable sequence of numbers from an array. Then we use a element at operator to get uh, the third item index 2 emitted by this observable sequence. Note, it is important to note that uh, the index in the element at operator is uh, null based, meaning that the first item in the sequence is at index null. Uh, the second at uh, index 1 and so on. That's it for the element at operator in RxJS. It is simple but powerful operator for getting a specific item from an observable sequence. With this operator you can uh, easily extract the information you need uh, from a stream of data. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial in our RxJS series. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on RxJS operators. Today we'll, we will be diving into the filter operator and how it can be used in your Angular project. The filter operator is a simple operator that takes an observable sequence and returns a new observable sequence consisting of elements that satisfy a specified condition. The filter operator is useful uh, when you need when you need to filter out unwanted elements from your data a stream it's uh, like a filter on a, a water tap uh, it only lets water through that uh, meets certain criteria using the filter operators is a simple you just need to call the filter method on your observable and pass it a function that returns a boolean value based on the element you want to filter. Here is an example how to use how to use a filter operator. We will create an observable that emits a sequence of a number and then use a filter operator to only allow even number through. As you can see, the filter operator takes an observable and returns a new observable that only contains the element that satisfy the specified condition. In this case, only, e only even numbers are allowed through. And that's it. The filter operator is a simple and powerful tool for filtering your data stream whether you are you are working with the numbers string or any other type of a data uh, the filter operator can help you keep your stream clean and uh, focused thank you for watching this video tutorial on uh, the rxjs filter operator if you like it, this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my uh, Udemy channel. Thanks. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on RxJS operators. In this video we will be diving into the first operator and how it can be used in your Angular project. The first operator is a simple operator that returns an observable sequence that emits only the first element of the source observable. The first operator is useful when you only need the first element of your data stream. It is a great way to get uh, started 
with your data and see what's coming through the pipe. Using the first operator is simple. You just need to call the first method on your observable and it will return a new observable that only emits the first element of the source observable. Here is an example of how to use the first operator. We will create an observable that emits a sequence of a number and then use the first operator to only get the first number. As you can see, the first operator takes an observable and returns a new observable that only contains the first element of the source observable. In this case, the first number in the sequence is 1. And that's it. The first operator is a simple and effective way to get started with your data stream, whether you you are working with a number, string, or any other type of data, the first operator can help you get a quick look at uh, what's coming through the pipe. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on RxJS first operator. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on uh, the RxJS operator ignore elements. What is ignore elements? The ignore elements operator is a utility operator in RxJS that allows you to ignore all of the elements emitted by the source observable and only pay attention to its completion or error notifications. Uh, okay, let's consider an example to understand how ignore elements operators work. Here we have a of operator with uh, strings observable and with a pipe we use uh, ignore elements and we subscribe it, but. Uh, shows only the complete console log here we are using the ignore elements operator to ignore all of the emitted values and only pay attention uh, to the completion notification and that's it uh, for this video tutorial on the RxJS Ignore Elements Operator. Hope you found it help, helpful. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the RxJS Operator LAST. In this tutorial we will learn what the LAST operator is and how it can be used in Angular replication. The last operator is a RxJS operator that emits the last item emitted by the source observable or a default value if the source observable is empty. Let's see the last operator in action with a practical example Consider the following code uh, which uh, uses the last operator to emit the last value of a range of numbers. Um, here we can see the value in the console window, the value is a 5 which we have here so that's it for this tu video tutorial on the RxJS operator uh, last the last operator is a useful tool to get the, the last emitted value from uh, an observable 
which can be useful in various scenarios. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this tutorial on RxJS operator sample and sample time. In this tutorial, we will learn about the sample and sample time operators in RxJS and how to use them in our application. The sample operator is used to emit the most recent value from the source observable whenever a notifier observable emits a value. The most recent value before the emission uh, of uh, the notifier is uh, the one that emitted. Let's take a look at the example to understand the sample operator better. Mm, suppose we have a an uh, interval of observables that emits values uh, every second and a button click observable we want to emit the last latest value uh, from the interval observable whenever the button is clicked to do this we use uh, the sample operator al along with a uh, button click observable as notifier uh, let's click okay user index HTML what is a sample time operator the sample time operator is uh, similar to the sample operator but instead of emitting the last uh, latest value from the source observable, whenever a notifier observable emits a value, it emits the last latest value from the source observable at a fixed time interval. Uh, let's take a look at an example to understand the sample time operator better. Suppose we have a, an interval observable that emits value every second. Uh, we want to emit the uh, latest value from the interval observable every 500 milliseconds. To do this, we use a sample time operator with uh, a time value with uh, 500 milliseconds. Uh, we can refresh it. We have a result on the console window. Uh, that's it for this video tutorial on RxJS operator sample and the sample time. I hope you n you now <coughs> have a better understanding of these operators and how to use them in your application. Thank you for watching and don't forget subscribe to more t for more tutorials. Thank you. Uh, in this video tutorial we will be discussing the single operator in RxJS, a popular library for reactive programming in JavaScript. Uh, RxJS single operator is used to get uh, the only item from an observable sequence or to through an error if the sequence contains more than one item or, or is empty. Um, here is a simple example of how you can use a single operator. In this example, we have a stream of even numbers and the filter operator filters out all even numbers. Since there are multiple even numbers, the single operator will throw a sequence error with a message too many matching values. 
the error callback in the observer um, argument will catch this error and log the message to the console. Here we have a console message. And that's it. And uh, now you uh, you know uh, how to use a single operator in RxJS. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Hi, welcome to this video tutorial on the skip and the skip last operator in RxJS. These operators are used to skip a specified number of items from the start or end of a, an observable sequence respectively. Let's start with the skip operator. The skip operator returns a new observable sequence that skips a specified number of items uh, from the start of the original observable sequence. To use a skip we call it on the observable and the pass in the number of items we want to skip. Here is an, here is an example. We have an observable sequence of number numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, and we want to skip the first uh, two items. We can uh, use we can uh, do this using the skip operator. The output of this uh, code will be three, four, five. As you can see, the first two items of uh, the original sequence have been skipped. Next, let's, let's talk about the skip last operator. The skip last operator returns a new observable sequence that skips the last specified numbers, number of uh, items uh, from the end of uh, the original observable sequence. To use the skip last, we call it on the observable and pass in the number of items we want to the skip from the end. Here is an example. We have an observable sequence of number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, we want to skip the, the last two items. We can do this using the skip last operator. The output of this code will be 1, 2, 3. As you can see, the last two th items of the uh, original sequence have been skipped. And here we have a console window. Here we have a result. And that's it for this tutorial on the skip and the skip last operators in RxJS. I hope you found it ha helpful. <coughs> Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on RxJS operator.